What's up, Grand Adventure peeps, and welcome back to another Grand Adventures unboxing. Like I said in the last video, it's kind of a Wolverine theme we got going on here. This is a deep cut. This is a LCD with her, her good buddy Albert here. Uh, you may be thinking, uh, if you don't know who this is, you may be thinking, that's Wolverine. Uh, I mean, it's a copy of Wolverine. It's a robot. His name is Albert. Um, and, then, and obviously, her name is LCD. Get that reflection off there so you see it a little bit better. This is a super awesome 110 scale of Iron Studios. Uh, like I said before, I went over and doing them quite a bit, but I like these 110 scales. They're awesome. They're easy to handle. We fit a lot of them in a, a DTOF, and uh, they just look really good together and have a nice theme going on with them. But this is an awesome statue. Uh, like I said, it's a deep cut. So I always like deep cut statues when it's like something, you know. Yeah, there's some cool Spider-Man statues out there, but we got a lot of Spider-Man statues. This may be, as far as I know, the only LCD statue. So um, for people who read that storyline and liked it, which I'll talk about a little bit when I, when I get a close-up of the video, um, this is a cool piece. It's an awesome piece to have because when you like those rare characters, like one of my favorite characters is the Shroud. He doesn't have very many appearances in Marvel. They made a Shroud statue. Of course I'm going to want it. So this is one of those kind of things. So I'm going to get this... Uh, dynamic duo if you will unbox then we're going to click a closer look at them and then uh that's where i'll see you all right here we are with lcd and albert out of the box she may look like a cute little girl but she's actually a robot that was a bomb to kill wolverine and here's albert if anybody didn't know she's not a super popular character or somebody that everybody knows about so this is a robot Wolverine that was designed to lure Wolverine in so LCD could kill Wolverine. But she gained awareness, did not want to die. So now her and Albert are a duo. This is a great statue. Like I said, lesser known character uh, created by Mark Silverstreet and Larry Hama. It was Wolverine 37. 38 both those issues tied together that's their their first appearances it's an awesome statue though like i said a little less known piece you know there but probably one of the coolest statues because you know it's a it's a robot wolverine with a tiny little girl in a pink dress sitting on top of it standing on top of him essentially telling him to kill people very good story if you haven't read it highly recommend it. okay we're going to get in we're going to do some turns here get the side view I love this statue. It's 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 a. I think it's one of those kind of talking point statues too. People see it, they're like, "Who is that? What is that little girl?" Great base. Looks really cool. Broken wooden floor, where they've obviously trashed some people. Get that side view of LCD there. Just great sculpt, great paint job. Uh, she really stands out because of the pink and everything, and he's more browns and grays and metals. The uh, Iron Studio metals always look really good. Really good paint jobs on them. I like the way they look. These 110 scale statues, which are mainly all X-Men, they do some others too, but they really lean hard into the X-Men stuff, are great. I think they're great scale size. Uh, and just they've, They're making so many different things that you know there's a lot of options and if you have things like detox and stuff you can fit several of them and a lot of them in there so have like you know your big giant statues which are awesome i mean who doesn't love a big giant statue but having a detox full of all the x-men is really cool too the chrome on the claws is super awesome that's one of my favorite parts this is just an amazing statue like i said one tenth scale iron studios i think they've just been killing it. these are like probably one of my favorite lines right now I love her little angry face. She's like, go kill those ninjas, Albert. And once again, this is LCD. I'm going to show you on the box in case you want to look her up. It's not LCD like a television. It's it's clever play on LCD, but it's obviously, her name is Elsie. And uh, his name is Albert. So it's not Logan. It's not Wolverine. It's, it's a version of Wolverine. It's a robot doppelganger, if you will. So there they are, out of the box. This was a real simple construction too. He goes on the base, she goes on his back, and it's quick and easy. That's another thing about these Iron Studio statues, they're not overcomplicated, and they 
they go together really well and you know if you have to if you have to move them you don't need to worry about taking them apart they they all they they stay together so there she is in all her glory lcd i'm going to jump back behind the camera close this video out i hope you enjoyed it well there you have it there's lcd and albert all their glory i hope you enjoyed it i know i did i like i said deep cut love it um once again like these boxes like the their their they pack a lot in there, so they're easy to store. You can store them on the shelf. Um, if you don't have a whole lot of these, you can store the box with the statue. It looks great. So there she was, Albert LCD, kicking butt, taking out ninjas and gangsters and everything else. And so I really hope you enjoyed that. And uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, hit that little notification so you'll know when I put these new unboxings up. I'm, I'm trying to get more steady with them. We I've got a... I've got a, uh, a line of things to come. I've got a Skeletor, a Phoenix. So I've definitely got some, some cool ones coming up that we're going to be looking at. But uh, like I said, like, subscribe, bell. Have a great day and hope to see you soon.